Bob in Cincinnati, Ohio. Ohio. He writes to me and he says, I have one set of speakers that sounds great. However, at low volume, they seem to not sound as good and almost always seem like they have shrunk to small bookshelf versions of themselves. I do believe it is the speakers, not the amp, preamp, and sound source, as these other parts of the system sound just fine on different speakers. That said, have you seen this kind of phenomena before, and what, if anything, can be done to correct this other than replacing the speakers or turning the volume up? <laughs> okay, so I think what you're describing is known as the Fletcher Munson curve. A lot of you have heard of it, some of you haven't. So years ago, a couple of guys, a couple of sound engineers, uh, Fletcher and Munson, started uh, investigating how different people hear differently and why. And they recorded a whole bunch of, uh, they, they put on headphones, I think they use headphones, um, and they, they started, you know, does this sound the same? Does it sound loudness, uh, louder to you? And they wanted to find out how different all of our hearings are and what affected hearing. I mean, this was a long time ago. I think this is probably in the 20s and the 30s, you know, at the beginning of this whole era of sound reproduction. And what they discovered is that, and they wound up calling it the Fletcher Munson curve, that as the volume uh, level goes down, even though it is still flat frequency, we perceive it as being rolled off on the bottom and the top. And it starts this roll-off curve. And, and the, the, the lower the volume you get it, the greater this effect, this Fletcher Munson curve effect. And you can try it yourself. As you turn down the volume of your stereo, the life of the stereo seems to go away. And what's really happening is, is the way your ears are perceiving it, they are truncating the bass and the treble. Now, we used to have things called loudness controls. And on receivers, sometimes you'll see it still on a receiver. We, we don't use any of it on our stuff because we kind of expect, if you're playing it at low levels, it's probably background music and so it doesn't really matter. And for any serious audiophile, you're gonna turn it up to the appropriate level when you're doing serious listening, right? If you're just playing something, that's okay. You don't have to always be serious. <laughs> but there used to be the ubiquitous loudness control. And what that did is it EQ'd up the bass and the treble. So it went and you had this sort of, you know, pattern like that that compensated for, ah, I can't do it, <laughs> for the cur curve that went like that. Right? So if you compensated it up, then at low volume levels, it sounds flat. Now, it isn't flat, but it sounds flat. And some of the better ones were variable. So as you turned the level up, the amount of EQ on the bass and treble went down until you hit a certain point, and then it was flat again. And then as you turned it down, up it would go. So that's what I think you're hearing and it's called the Fletcher Munson Curve. So, hope that helps. Thanks for the question. I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right.